Hey guys, my name is Annie B, and today I'm going to be eating one color of food for the entire day. But before we get started, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell and comment any ideas you have for any future videos. Here are the shoutouts for this week, and comment this emoji if you want a shoutout next week. So I'm going to be picking the color of food I'm going to be eating out of this hat. So let's do that. And I got red. So I will, I guess I have to eat red food for the entire day. I think this is a pretty good one because I can eat different fruits that I like. And also there are lots of red candies. But I do think this will be a little hard to eat normal foods, not just fruits and candies. So I guess let's go shopping. Okay guys, so I'm at the store and I found this strawberry syrup, which gave me the idea. I think I'm gonna have pancakes and then I'm just gonna dye them red. So I think it'll be pretty yummy. This red smoothie but I can't tell exactly what color it is so let's just hope that it's red it looks really yummy though For lunch I'm thinking I want to get these pepperoni sticks because they're pretty red yeah let's do that so I'm thinking I could get red tortilla chips for like lunch and for snacking because they look interesting and I kind of want to try them go with my lunch, I think I'm gonna get tomato soup. I found this like sipping stuff, it's for one person, so let's get that. To drink for lunch, I think I'm gonna get some cranberry juice. can't remember how red or pink this is, but we'll see. For like a sweet snack, I'm gonna get these, and if they're not all red, I'll just eat the red ones. I think I'm gonna do these noodles because they're sun-dried, and if you look at the little hole, they are red. So, I am think I'm going to make some noodles. And of course, to go with pasta, you need tomato sauce. Drink throughout the day, I think I'm going to get this red strawberry pick pop For dessert, I'm going to make red velvet cupcakes and just dye the icing red. With red sprinkles! Okay guys, now we're all done shopping, so it's time to go home and try out some of these new foods. Good morning guys, so it's the next day and it's time to start the challenge. So for breakfast I will be having some pancakes, but I will dye the batter red so it is very red. And I'll have strawberry sauce on top, and then to drink I will have this smoothie. It looks pretty red on the outside, I'm just hoping it's red on the inside. and then. I will have these berries on the side. But before we start any of that, we have to go make the pancake better. So let's go do that. I don't actually like pancakes from a box because I think they taste weird, but I have the batter since I'm making them from scratch. And now I'm gonna add the red food coloring. Okay guys, so it's a little bit pink, but I think this is as red as we're gonna get and I still need to eat breakfast, so we're just gonna go with this.
Okay guys, now we're going to start cooking the pancakes. Okay, and now for the side, I'm gonna cut up some strawberries and I'll also have some raspberries. Okay guys, now it's time to dry my breakfast creation. So I'm just gonna take a bite of the pancake, which is some strawberry sauce. And I'll put a res. That's pretty good. I really like that. I think if I were to eat this again without like the red food thing, I'd probably add some syrup, but it is really yummy. Yum. Sorry, this is just really yummy. Mm. I also have to try the smoothie. So first we have to shake it. Now, I think it, I think it's red. Ew, it smells weird. Hmm. That is interesting because it almost tastes like it should be like a yogurt smoothie where it's like thick, but it's really runny. It's kind of like a brownish red. Can't really show you, can I? Um, but it tastes good. It just like the flavor of the smoothie doesn't match with the texture, so it's a bit weird. But it is good. Yep. I've decided it's good. So to get all together, I think this breakfast turned out pretty good. I think I would eat this these things again, just make like a few changes. But I do like how the pancakes turned out, even though they're a little bit pink, but they're really yummy. Okay guys, that's all for breakfast. I'll see you guys at lunchtime. Bye. A few moments later. So it's around lunchtime now and I'm getting pretty hungry, so I'm going to show you what I have for lunch. So first up I have these pepperoni sticks and they're the original ones that are not spicy because I don't like any spicy food. I also have this tomato soup, which is actually a lot of tomato soup, so I hope I can finish it all. And I have cranberry juice, which I think is pretty red. I'm It's a little bit of a purpley pink red. And then I also have these chips for some saltiness. They're red tortilla chips and they look really good. So let's go make my lunch. So to make the tomato soup, uh, it's pretty simple, I think. So I just have to take off the lid, which apparently is pretty hard. Okay. And I take off the tab. Okay, so to make the tomato soup, it seems pretty simple. All I have to do is take off the lid and then remove this, the little tab here. Ooh, it's very full. And then put it in the microwave for one minute. Seems pretty simple. Okay guys, now it's all done and it's warm and it smells really yummy. So all I have to do is put the lid on and then it says I'm done so I can just Sip it like this, it's kind of like a coffee mug. That's cool. That'd be good for school. Hey guys, so my lunch is ready. This is the simplest of all of my meals today because I didn't have to do any cooking. 
the most cooking I did was putting this in the microwave, which isn't that difficult. So now I'm going to try it all. So I guess I'll start with the pepperoni stick. Yep, they're good, like I suspected. I've had a pepperoni stick before. They are really yummy. I do like them. So, um, next I will try the soup. It smells amazing. Like it doesn't just smell like normal soup. Like it has like, like seasonings in it and you can really smell it. It smells good. It was hot. Mm. This is good. I think this would be good if you are outside or it'd be nice in winter. Uh, it would be really nice in winter to have because it's nice and warm and it's in the coffee cup so it's better than a bowl because you can't just take a bowl outside like that. But yeah, it's really yummy. And then I'm going to try the chips now. So these are just tortilla chips. It just says just says red corn tortilla chips. So that's why they're red. Okay, so to be fair, I do like most chips because I really like chips. So like, I don't really like the flavor of salt and vinegar, but I'll still eat them sometimes because I really like chips. So um, these are really good. I like. It doesn't have too much salt, so having dip with this would be good, but I don't have any, or having salsa even, but it is good to eat by itself too. It's not like an overload of, so if you're having like more tasteful things, and but you still want some chips, these would probably be really good for that. It's also good if you're only eating red for a day, so. And now to try the cranberry juice. I have had cranberry juice, so I know what it tastes like already, but let's try it. Mm. Yeah, I really like cranberry juice. It has a good flavor. It has like a berry taste, but it's not super strong and like sweet where it makes your jaw hurt. So overall, this is a good meal and I didn't have to really cook, so it's nice and quick, which is better for lunch, I would say. So, yeah, that's all I have for lunch, so I'll see you guys at dinner. Bye. Hey guys, so I know it's not supper yet, but I'm getting a little hungry, so I thought I would try these. They look pretty good. Let's just hope they taste good too. Okay guys, so here they are. They look pretty good, so let's just taste them because I'm hungry and I want to try them. Ooh, they look like Swedish fish. That's what they look like in the package. They don't look red, but they are red here. Ooh, ooh, they're more gummy though than Swedish fish. Like they're less solid and they feel more like actual gummies, not just like hard rock. Like sometimes you find Swedish fish. So they are red, they're like a maroon red. And they, they smell amazing. They smell like kind of like tutti fruit flavor. I mean, I guess it is berry. Yeah, that would be a good word to explain it, but I really want to try it, so I'm just gonna take a bite. Wow, that is really good. Okay, it's good. It's not like a stretchy gummy, it's more like thick, but then it gets like stuck in my teeth, so it's like kind of both. But it's so yummy. It's like a good amount of jelly gummy ratio. It's not hard at all. So it's not like breading into like a stale gummy or something. It's made better. And they have like three grams of sugar. Oh, three grams of sugar per bag. Oh. Okay. Um, three grams of sugar in this entire bag. And it still tastes amazing. I will definitely buy these again because they are healthy but yet amazing. Um, these little fishies. This is where the deliciousness is at. 
Okay guys, so now it's dinner time and I'm gonna be having these sun-dried tomato noodles, which are red. Uh, you can't really see them though. So, we've already prepared the meat sauce, so now all we need to do is prepare the noodles. So here's the meat sauce so far and I think it looks pretty good. Let's move on to preparing the noodles. So the noodles aren't as red as they were before. They're kind of getting to a more pasta color again. So I'm hoping they'll be more red again once we put the sauce on them. Okay, so I'm all done making my dinner and now I'm ready to try it. The noodles didn't turn out super red, but I think they're red enough. That is really good. I think the noodles are kind of spicier than before. But I think they're pretty good. Um, they taste more like tomatoes, obviously. But yeah, I think this is pretty good. Okay, and now it's time to try my pick a pop. On camera, it looks more pink, but it is strawberry and it is red. So let's try this. I really like pick a pops, but I usually get the blue one. Um, it's not like my favorite flavor. It's not as good as the blue one, but it is pretty good. Like I'll finish it, but I will still choose the blue one over the, the strawberry one. So it's pretty good. I would give this meal a thumbs up. Okay guys, it's now time for dessert and I'm gonna make red velvet cupcakes and dye the icing red and then have red sprinkles to go with it. So let's go start making them. So the box came with the cake mix, the instructions and two packets of icing. Okay, with all that batter, I was able to fill two little trays of cupcakes and three big ones. I think I might have overfilled these, but I guess they'll just be big cupcakes. Let's go put them in the oven. Okay guys, now that the cupcakes are in the oven, it's time to prepare the icing by coloring it and get, putting it in the piping bag. Okay guys, now I'm all done making the cupcakes and they are so cute. Now, the red velvet cupcakes didn't turn out red. They're more of like a brown maroon, very, very dark maroon. And I guess pink is a shade of red, kind of. And we have red sprinkles, so at least we got that. Um, but I still think they turned out cute, so I'm excited to try it. So let's just see what happens. A lot of icing all over my face now. Um, so, there's about the same amount of icing as there is cupcake, but in order to make it look pretty, that's what I had to do. It tastes pretty good. Yeah, it tastes good. In my opinion, red velvet tastes like chocolate, just like a little bit less good, so. 
I would way rather buy chocolate, but for the sake of this video, I bought red velvet. It tastes really good though. So, these, I think, were kind of a fail because they aren't exactly red, but they taste good, so that's a plus. Thank you guys so much for watching my day of red. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below what your favorite food I ate in this video was and which one you might try. My personal favorite one of this video was probably the tomato soup in a cup. I don't know why. It's probably the simplest thing I ate in this video, but it was really good. I guess I'm just a fan of tomato soup. Um, most people would like the most expensive or the one that takes the most time, but I guess I can't change what I like. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and hit the bell, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye! Wait, 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 wait,